Chinese healthcare professionals are against the clock. They are on their way to perform home vaccinations. Stored in this cooler box are COVID-19 vaccines, each with a strict window of usability. The nurse goes to the vaccination centre in the morning to collect the vaccine uh, for just the first part of the day because every vial lasts for six hours. So we need to plan very carefully and then the second part of the day, we collect another vial for the rest of the patients. Speed Dog is one of three medical providers appointed by the Health Ministry to spearhead home vaccinations in Singapore. The other two are Hdale Medical Clinic and Jagami. Announced in May, this scheme caters to immobile and homebound individuals who are not able to get to vaccination centres. So the team will comprise a doctor plus a nurse so that we can vaccinate these homebound persons in the comfort of their home. The team from Speed Dog arrives at the vaccination centre in the morning to collect the vaccines in a cooler box filled with ice packs. This is to ensure that the cooler's temperature does not rise beyond 25 degrees Celsius. We use a cooler box with a data logger attached to it. To monitor the temperature, you can physically look at the data logger or there's an app connected at Bluetooth to our phones. This app also locks the temperature. We can just monitor the temperature from the app. If the range of the temperature goes above 25 degrees, there'll be an alarm. Additionally, once the concentrated Pfizer-BioNTech and Comiati vaccines are diluted at the vaccination centres, they have a six-hour lifespan, so speed is of the essence. As well as the precious cooler of vaccines, each doctor and nurse teams will travel to the patient's house with a suitcase of medical equipment. The case weighs a hefty 15 kilograms. In our luggage contains our e-kit, the drugs that are required in event of anaphylactic shocks. Uh, we, we never know this patient, how their reaction to it. Also, the consumables that we need to vaccinate them, like, like the syringes, needles, alcohol, uh, swabs. At each vaccination location, the team limits their time to 30 to 45 minutes before they have to move off to the next one. Sometimes we get a vaccination centre located to us in the west side for the morning part of the day and then the noon part of the day, we are located to a vaccination centre at the east side of Singapore. The travelling from the west to the east also takes up a lot of our time and we have to plan our route carefully for that day. We use an app called Circuit App. This app is usually used by delivery riders to plan their day, so we use the same thing. So they will optimise which houses to go first and yeah, I think that's the best way to plan our day. Lah. They are not only his children but also relatives coming over to visit him. They may be vaccinated, okay, but at that point of time, somewhere in uh, April, we, my wife and I were already discussing, what if those people who are vaccinated but they still carry the virus? If they carry the virus, they may not, they may not be sick, they may be okay but they may infect my father-in-law during the vegetation. So in order for us to eliminate that, so it's very good for him to have the vaccination. Mr. So Tiam Huat was thankful for the availability of a home vaccination service after an accident left his mom immobile. Mr. So called the Agency for Integrated Care to set up a home vaccination appointment for his mother. First, I call AIC to tell them my difficulties. So then AIC did a check and they get back to me and say that uh, they would like to know more detail. The third time, the AIC um, officer called me and said that this is confirmed. Mr. Muhammad Ali received an SMS from the Home Nursing Foundation who facilitated his application to get his father-in-law vaccinated at home. For those who have not been approached by the authorities or the current care service providers to get their homebound family members vaccinated, they can appeal to get vaccinated at home by calling the MOH hotline. For me, I feel that it is very smooth, it's very professional. Those people who come uh, and do the vaccination, the two teams, the first one is another team and this is another team, they are very professional and very caring. The options of a home vaccination now is a godsend and I'm really thankful for what our government is doing. After administering the vaccination, the team observes the patient for 30 minutes and makes sure that there are no ill effects. It feels rewarding. Huh? because uh, we are helping people who want to be vaccinated but can't get out of the house. And the observation time that we spend with each family, just sitting there and talking to them, very nice lah, to be able to sit with someone, just talking about their day, about their life. Chit chat over, the team packs up and moves towards the next location. The countdown begins again.